welcome to another Pokemon Nuzlocke challenge with me, the man in the hat. We're going to go ahead and get started here. As you saw from the title of the video and the intro, we are doing a Thief Lock this time around. Now this is going to be traditional heart gold that we are not doing a ROM hack with this. Simply because I couldn't get the ROM hack and the randomizer to work together, unfortunately. So we're sticking with just the, uh, the randomizer because I think it makes it more interesting. Now, as for what a Thief Lock is, for those who don't know, it is a form of Nuzlocke where we have a few special rules. Uh, in contrast to a normal Nuzlocke where you just catch the first Pokemon you find per route, in a Thief Lock you still only can catch one, but it cannot be a wild Pokemon. You have to catch a Pokemon that belongs to another trainer. Are we a boy or a girl? We are a boy. Yes, we are. So, tell him our name. Our name is going to be Giovanni. We are going to be playing as... Nope, not a space. I want lowercase. Select does it. Alright, there we go. Gonna be Giovanni. Uh, so, there's a few special... Well, uh, we'll go with just one and then, even though there's technically two, that will, that'll work. So, there's a few special cases here because it gets a little bit weird. Yes, name's Giovanni. Um, it requires that I use a cheat code, which is fine. Yes, we're ready. And, uh, it lets me catch other trainers' Pokemon, obviously. Yes, let's go. Let's get small, and let's get going. Now then, oh yeah, this is another cheat code I got. We get to play as Giovanni. Oh, this is perfect. Let's get a free potion out of the PC, shall we? Oh, we don't get it in this one, I guess. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, let's head down, talk with our mom. Um, so, uh, I cannot catch a gym leader's Pokemon because one of the weird things that happens with, uh, with, with the cheat code is that it will end a Pokemon battle that we have with another trainer. So, once I catch it, that's the end of the battle. Um, I am pretty sure that I don't get money for the, for the battle if I do that, so we lose out on a little bit of that. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, that's the situation, is we, we don't get money, and then it ends the battle. So I can't do a gym leader with it, um... But I can do trainers in a gym with it if I feel like it. However, again, it's only one. And uh, because this is not ROM hack, I'm not going to be giving myself gym catches. We are only going to do traditional Nuzlocke rules. And again, as it's randomized, we get uh, we get to have a uh, randomized choice here. So let's see. Yes. Do I know anything about your research? Yeah, I sure do. Oh, you know what? I should have put the uh, text speed to fast. But, uh, yeah. So, those are pretty much the rules. Um, we only get one. Can I walk beside it to see if it brings any special feelings or bonds? Sure. Has some Pokemon I can choose from. Oh, answering a phone call. Oh, hey, you got an email. Uh-huh, okay. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance of people called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things. And you want me to go and talk to Mr. Pokemon. Got it. Yes. It's been a while since I've played something that wasn't actually a, uh, a ROM hack, so... Okay, so we have Sceptile, Vibrava, and Monferno. Interesting. Um... So, unlike the last Blaze Black randomizer that we did, uh, I do not have the types randomized. That was just a little bit too much. Uh, it, I don't know, it, it would have been fine if I weren't nuzlocking, or if I were just playing for fun or something, but for recording purposes, it makes it really difficult and really unfun, I feel like. I'm, I kind of want this Vibrava. Because he's a ground dragon type, which is a really good starter. I'm pretty sure he's ground dragon. But a fire monkey would be hella good. Let's uh let's go with the Vibrava. Yeah, that'll do. 
Yes. Give me Vibrava, the ground type Pokemon. Received it. Yeah, the starter here is the only exception to having to, uh, to steal Pokemon from anyone else. Okay, so, your name, I'm gonna try and go with shorter names for this one. We're gonna try and get sort of a, a mobster feel going on here. Um, you're a guy, so I'm gonna name you Billy, as in Billy the Kid. So we're gonna try and get sort of a gang going here. I think I can nickname Pokemon that I steal. I hope I can. If not, then we might just, uh, we might just not have or be able to, uh, do the Nuzlocke quite properly. I'll still give them names on the sidebar, and I'll try and remember them as best as I can, if that's the case, but I think it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I did randomize the items on the ground, and I randomized move sets. So, let's see what you know, Billy. Apparently, you know Flash. Interesting. Yep, you are indeed Ground Dragon. You know Magnitude, Flash, Present, and Shadow Sneak. Always goes first. 40 power. Having Magnitude at the start here is pretty good. Hmm. Present. Interesting. Yeah, I think both these are going to be the first ones to go. Shadow Sneak's not that bad of a move. Uh, and Magnitude is pretty, pretty powerful for him to have at the, uh, at the start here. So let's go ahead and tech speed fast. Uh, battle style, we're gonna do set battle style again because it's not a, a, uh, ROM hack. Um, I'm finding a few other ways to add a bit of additional difficulty to the game. So you want me to have these potions. Excellent. Excellent. They're weak in the beginning. Oh, don't I know it. Okay, so. We don't have Pokeballs yet. Hello. So, I kind of feel like maybe I should make it so that the last Pokemon that a trainer sends out should be the one that I attempt to catch on, as opposed to the first ones. Um, let me know in the comments if you think that that works. Uh, or if I should make it the very first one. Because I don't want to let myself, like, choose between the two. I want to have a set rule. And I still can see... Yes. Professor Room did give it to me. Um, I still can see how many Pokemon they have before, uh, before the fight begins. So, I can always tell how many they have and what I need to do. Uh, yes, I remember how to make a phone call. Yep, and you're gonna tell me anyways. Uh, so... Let's see, do I have... I don't have running shoes yet, and I don't have a bicycle yet. Nope, because this is not, unfortunately, the ROM hack where you get that immediately. Hello, Professor Elm, what are you gonna give me? Are you gonna teach me how to catch Pokemon? I don't think so, not yet. Oh yeah, he's giving me his number. Okay. Whatever, dude. So, I think this is going to be a lot of fun to uh, to do this run. I'm really excited for it. Um, I talked about doing something like this a little bit when we were doing the Blaze Black run. So, yeah. Uh, even if I had Pokeballs, none of these wild Pokemon are a valid catch. Has to be from a trainer, as I've said. So, let's see. I'm looking for some of the items around here because those are randomized so we could potentially get some really overpowered stuff here at the beginning like right up here okay what are we gonna get a dusk stone interesting I don't think that's what Vibrava evolves with no Vibrava I'm pretty sure evolves with levels so Diglett, level 2. Well, Billy, let's murder it and get a little free XP, shall we? Uh, let's see. It's ground type, so just Shadow Sneak. That'll be neutral and probably kill it. Actually, Magnitude would have been neutral as well. Holy crap, it knows Earthquake. At level 2. That's scary as hell. 
Yeah, go for the magnitude. Just kill this thing. Oh, and he knows Shadow Sneak. <laughs> I guess it's appropriate in a uh, in a thief lock that everything would know Shadow Sneak. But whatever. Oh, that didn't even come close to doing something useful for us. So, on down the path, through here, okay. Now he doesn't, there's no one on this first path that wants to battle me, and I don't, I'm pretty sure I can't go through that area there. This guy wants to teach me all about apricorns. Uh, Weedle, um... Bug versus ground. I think that's neutral neutral, isn't it? Yeah, let's go for the magnitude. I find myself playing by looking at the uh, my recording preview screen a lot more than I play by looking at my my actual game monitor. Which is a bit odd sometimes, but whatever. I don't want that apricorn. I don't need it right now. What I want to do is go ahead and top off Billy's HP. Oh, he's going to give me a tour around the city, isn't he? Are you going to do such a thing? Follow you? Okay. I'll be back in a second, guys. I'm not going to make you sit through this. And welcome back, everyone. We just finished going on the tour with the guide. He gave us some running shoes. Let's click. Turn those bad boys on. And now they're just on all the time. Oh! <laughs> the running shoe animation doesn't work with the Giovanni model. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it on anyways. This is hilarious. It's like we're moonwalking everywhere. Okay, we are actually facing her, though. And neither does this animation. I have to take my suit off in order to, uh... <laughs> In order to heal my Pokemon. Oh, Giovanni stopped. Am I am I him now? Okay. So if I walk in and out of a building, it can uh, it can get a little screwy. That's that's hilarious. I I enjoy this immensely. This is great. Moon walking on down the line. Oh, hello, sir. You made it. You forgot about one thing. Take this token. He gave me a map card. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're very polite, but I do so wish that you would shut the hell up and let me get on with my Pokemon journey slash adventure. Okay, so we have grass. Oh, there's an item over there. I want it. I want it so bad. You have no idea how bad I want it. Metapod! You will get magnituded. Ooh, if we encounter a flying type on a trainer, that actually could be kind of bad. Think. No, flying doesn't get super effective against us, but it does get, uh, but it is immune to our magnitude, so we would have to kill it with, like, Shadow Sneak and such. I'm not sure if I randomized the stats or not. Oh, I didn't even look at what Billy's ability was. I should, uh, I should take a look at that real fast. Let's take a look at you, Billy. What is your... Ability. Ability. Ha. Filter. Reduces damage. Oh, man. Okay. So, Billy is ground and dragon and only has, like, two type weaknesses in the game anyways. And he reduces damage from super effective attacks on top of it. Holy crap, that is amazing. Okay, so here's the question. Do I have to battle Youngster Joey before we get Pokeballs? Or can I capture Youngster Joey's... Uh, oh, I get the Apricorn Box from this guy, I think? Let's, uh, let's see. Come to your house. Yes, I did. I don't have Apricorns. I can make Pokeballs and other things. This is meant to be. You're so happy you'll give me this. Apricorn Box. Excellent. I thought so. Um, I would really love to capture Joey's uh, top percentage Rattata. Oh wait, it won't have a Rattata because he is a uh, he's got randomized types and Pokemon, so it won't be that. Okay, so we're back to us. <laughs> Took off our our suit for a minute there. What is 
balls. It's gonna be a great ball. Not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, I think that uh, Billy here is gonna be a beast of a tank. Uh, we need to go the other way, I believe. Oh, no, that one would have led us here just as well. Let's get the apricorn. Yes, it is an apricorn tree. Give me the pink apricorn. Excellent. Alright, and here we are at Mr. Pokemon's house. Oh, hello, it's Mr. Pokemon and Professor Oak. I must be Giovanni. I sure am. So, uh... Let me know in the comments if you guys think that I should keep up with using the Giovanni skin or not. Just because, uh, it's... I don't know. I like it, but if the running animation is broke, then the bicycle animation might be as well. There's a lot of animations that just don't work with it. So, yeah, just, just let me know. And, uh, if you guys don't like it, you want me to ditch it, then I will happily do so. For you, the viewer. Yes, I am Giovanni, Professor Oak. Thank you. It's a rare Pokemon. Yes, it is. It's a Vibrava. They are... They're actually kind of rare, I believe. So. Yes, give me the Pokedex. Excellent. Now, let's see. I'm trying to figure what we want to do. Because we have the rival battle coming up on our way back. But, uh, we can't catch anything before then. Okay. Let's leave. Oh, Poke is ringing. And we have to answer. It's Professor Room. Hello, Giovanni? It's a disaster! It's just terrible! What should I do? It- Oh, no! Please, get back here now! Click. Yep. Dung got robbed. Okay. So, on our way back... Uh, yeah, the first trainer battle we have is the rival battle, so I want to fight, like, one more thing here. This should be good. Just to, uh, get Billy to level 6, so that we have a very slight advantage. Shadow Sneak. Nice. Good job, Diglett. You did a whole 2 damage to me. Magnitude 7 takes all of your health. Excellent. 23. Perfect. Level 6. Just what we wanted. I wonder what Billy will learn as he levels up. I have the randomizer log, so like, if I wanted to, I could look, but I think that'd be kind of cheating, so I'm not gonna do that. Another Metapod. We'll take him down as well. Get as much experience as we can. Now, once again, because this is not a ROM hack, uh, being overleveled is actually a thing that could happen, and we, like, actually don't want to be too high, um, because it'll just make things way easier than it should be. Magnitude 10! Oh, baby. Damn. Even with the not very effective, he just dies instantly. 30 XP. Good job. On downwards. Excellent. Excellent. And down the last little bit here. We'll top off our health, and then we will fight. Now, I'm wondering what the rival picked up, because I don't know which which uh, starter slot this guy took the space of. If he took the Sceptile, then potentially he could hurt us a bit, because Sceptile definitely has a tendency to be a sweeper. If he took the Fire Monkey, though... He's pretty much going to get one shot by magnitude. So, let's see which one he opted for, shall we? And let's hope this isn't the end of the Nuzlocke right here. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Hey, come work for me, kid. You stole Pokemon? I steal Pokemon. We shouldn't be fighting. We should be friends. Let's do it. Schoolboy school Daniel! I forgot that I changed it. Oh, he got the fire monkey. Billy, sweep this noob lord. It's a Monferno with Drizzle! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That's just... It's so good. In, uh... 
in in the Blaze Black randomizer that I've been streaming on Saturdays, um, one of the Pokemon that I caught was a Darmanitan with Drizzle. So it's another Fire Monkey with Drizzle. And he knows Sacred Fire. It's Darmanitan all over again. Mmm. That burn's not gonna do anything good for us. Cuts our physical attack in half. Yeah. We should still be able to kill him. If he wasn't faster than us, then we would've killed him right there, but, uh... High jump kick. Ooh, that hurt. But this should kill it. Yep, critical hit. Super effective. Very well done, Billy. We'll top your health off. You swept that fire monkey. One of these days, we might just steal it from him, too. If schoolboy Daniel insists on, uh, on fighting us. Do I know who you are? You're gonna be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Okay, Daniel. That's what I'm gonna name him, too. I'm gonna name r the rival Daniel. Give it back. It's your trainer card. Yeah, I saw it. Your name is Schoolboy Daniel. That's a great name for him to have gotten. I love it so much. Okay, let's top you off here, Billy. You're level 7. You're doing good. Yes, I would like to restore my Pokemon. I'll have to take my suit off to do it. Aha. Alright, so that is going to be the end of this episode, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, if everything goes according to plan, this episode should be up on Sunday. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.